Hi, my name is Keisha Bannister, and my email is keishahenry at hotmail.com. That's K-I-S-H-A-H-E-N-R-Y at hotmail.com. Thank you, Valerie. What are you going to do for us, Keisha? I will be playing Drew Fisher from Richard Fisher's Funeral by Kelly Powell, and then I will be playing The Great Man's Wife from The Secret Mirror by Joyce Carol Oates. Great. Whenever you're ready. Okay. <clears throat> You don't get it. I've been afraid of my father for my entire life. I have spent every waking moment just trying to keep him from exploding, trying to do everything just right, knowing that one day he might kill us all. My first memory is the day my little brother spilled a can of paint down her stairs. My parents were painting the house, and Ricky thought that he was helping. But the can of paint was way too heavy for him. Paint went everywhere. I held my breath. I don't know why I thought that would help. My father put his fist through the wall inches from Ricky's head. I screamed, Ricky started crying, and the whole time, the whole time my father just kept screaming at us to stop crying. But I couldn't, I couldn't stop. And my mother couldn't stop him, she never could. I was four years old, Ricky was two. And I have been living inside of that hole in the wall every day since. I, I don't forgive him. I can't. And I'm not going to go out there and pretend today. So you can go out there and read footprints in the sand if it makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. My father is going in the ground today. Except I don't remember having a father because a father would never do that to his kids. You all know me. Well, maybe not my face or my name. I'm the wife of the great man. Oh, I've been the great man's wife for years. I've been hovering here in the background for years. Naturally, I'm not his first wife or even his second. <laughs> Their ancient history. I'm never jealous. I'm beyond that. You could say I'm happy just hovering and waiting. I have a secret. He basks in my loving attention. He always has. It's how I won him all those years ago. I loved him then for a while. He doesn't see me. But he sees the love shining in my eyes. He sees how completely dependent I am upon him, like a plant needing the sun. My secret is I loathe him. He doesn't know how I'm hovering, waiting for harm, sorrow, humiliation to befall him. Of course he's unfaithful to me. <laughs> I know. I've always known. And I know that, thinking me hopelessly stupid, he doesn't know that <laughs> I know. I'm faithful to him, my feminine weakness. <laughs> the truth is, men just don't interest me. They never have. They're a means to an end, am I right? My secret is I'm the great man's wife so that I can outlive him. He's popular and his popularity will continue after his death.
He receives so many letters, letters from people hoping just to meet the great man, hoping to attach their empty lives to his, hoping to kindle in him a need for their adoration, hoping even to marry him, outlive him, become his widow. <gasps> <laughs> Too late. Thank you.